Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode in our Let's Play series. And as you can see we have some progress here in this build. This is Moses Lore build, a uh, fiery forest, a uh, forest that all the trees got burned. And as you can see we started building the trees, but some of them uh, have branches and most of them we still need to do the branches. So yeah, there is still a lot of time uh, to build this. We also placed some campfires to give this effect that stuff is burning and uh, some of that dead coral looks like a grass that got burned and we started mining the ravine here uh, I'm still gonna mine maybe 10 more blocks down and then build the stuff we need to build here so yeah there is a lot of stuff to building this project but we did some progress here at least so let's go to Octantlis now Okay, we are here at Octanclis, and this is the last build we did here, this castle for the stronghold that we had here, and that's the end portal, the libraries, and uh, still have some parts of the stronghold down here, and that's the outside of the castle, and uh, the idea with Octanclis is gonna be like our farm district, where we're gonna build farms, and so far I built this tree farm here that consumes a lot of TNT, so it's not that great. So today, the new farm I built is this, that's also a tree farm. It's an azalea farm that's uh, fully automatic, but we are having a few problems. Yeah, and uh, also it farm is either rooted dirt or uh, mud, you can click a lever here to choose. Yeah, uh, we were having some problems like this observer was exploding when we dispensed the TNT here. So yeah, there is a lot of improvements that can be done uh, that I actually think I can do much better than this. Like look at this headstone here is so cringe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I probably will just rebuild this whole farm. <laughs> but yeah, not uh, gonna worry too much about it. Okay, we are here in our Mushroom Island village, where last episode we built this custom tree. But I haven't built anything else after that episode. So yeah, just the stuff we already have built here, like that windmill, church, the heap there, and the blacksmith area, and the lighthouse. So yeah, this is another project that uh, I want to finish soon, uh, so yeah, we need to do more progress here, build more. But uh, let's go now for the new project of today's episode. Okay, so we are here in the new project, and uh, this project is a 512 by 512 area that we are mining to this level here, 63. It's the ocean level and uh, we are just missing this little bit over here to mine everything to ocean level and I, I might actually also mine this area here that's actually outside uh, the area we are mining but yeah the idea with this project is to build a city here so for example this area here that we have in water i'm probably gonna build a, a pier or you know some boats something like that we but yeah i want to build a lot of buildings maybe even a zoo a fair an airport a museum police station a school whatever you can think of that uh, we can find in a city so yeah that's the idea and i guess there is a wandering trader down here <laughs> but there is also a second part of this project you can't see because i have uh, the beacon beams turned off because they are very laggy but we have beacons all over this area in the second part uh, of this project that's actually uh, what we're gonna do first before we build the city because of course building the city will take a long time is we're gonna go down here in in this whole area that the beacons uh, 
range between uh, I think it's actually a little bit over the 512 by 512 so we're gonna mine in this level because these are all the chunks from before 1.16 you kind of can notice because of the, the lava the way the caves are in this ores here right uh, yeah coal in this level and after 1.18 it doesn't ex exist right <laughs> Well, it does, but it's much, much, much higher. Not like this that we have a lot. So yeah, I'm gonna mine for diamonds uh, because I will need the diamonds. So let's go to the new lurkers army to show why we need diamonds. Okay, we are here in the planet's room, and I needed to update uh, this because, uh, for example, sand. If we try to Delete that up. Where is the thing here? Let's see. Yeah, Sandy, we are marking 1.2 million, but because we were mining that desert there, we are already at 1.7 million. And we almost got to 1 million sandstone, not yet. Uh, and I also probably will remove this stuff and just leave the the lights on all the time because as you can see sometimes they break depending uh, on how I unload the chunks and all that <laughs> yeah kind of cringe but let's go down here get a map eat some shores fruit oh first try actually first try today yeah here is the the stars room where the stars blink and if we eat another short fruit, we get down here. And last time I showed this on YouTube, uh, every person had only one armor that they could upgrade. But I changed that. Now you can have up to seven armor stains. So each level you get either a new armor stain with new type of armor or one of the heads. And yeah, there is six types of armor in the game. Let's look at Moose's plot here. Moose has already all six types. And the next armor stained would be any armor that Moose wants. Uh, can choose anything. And why do we need diamonds? Because in 1.20 we're gonna have the armor trings. And I'm gonna allow people to choose any armor trings they want. As long as I find them, because I'm gonna have to go exploring, find all them. And yeah, you can choose any armor string in any material except the netherite. And for the last, the seventh armor stand, you can choose anything. You can choose a netherite armor with netherite ring. I don't care. You can choose a netherite boot, chain mail, pants diamond chest plate and golden helmet you can choose whatever you want and any armor trees including netherite but for the other armors it can be any material for the armor tree except netherite otherwise it's gonna be too expensive well it's already gonna be too expensive because we have it 12 people already with armor stains here and if i'm not mistaken there is i think 39 armor stains already uh, so yeah, and you use the seven diamonds for each armor tree. So it would be seven times four, twenty-eight per armor stand. Yeah, it's a lot of diamonds. And I know what you think, dog. You minded this whole uh, overall the perimeter here, don't you have diamonds? Well, yes, but actually no. So we have a shulker box of deep slate diamonds and about twenty stacks of. Uh, diamond R, but if we look at the actual diamonds, no blocks and only 19 diamonds. And yes, I could just use Fortune on these uh, R's, but I want to keep them, you know, call me a order collector, whatever you want, but I want to keep them. So that's why we're going to mine more diamonds during the desert where we are doing the seed project since we already have the beacons there anyways and i kind of miss mining minecraft like it was on dot 16 for diamonds okay nostalgia for me okay oh and i actually did some farton pickaxes 
you can see here we have this choker box called Farton that obvious is full of silk touch pickaxes. I I don't know, I'm automatically my brain just buys silk touch books from the villagers. Uh yeah. But I already bought more pickaxes and all the books we need with Farton this time. Uh, but I also need the 27 netherite ingots and I only have a 16. So we're gonna have to steal some netherite from the beacon. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just gonna mine more ancient debris. I love mining Minecraft. Okay, stop it. shaming, mine shaming me. Oh, and also I did a map art because I'm an artist, by the way. Right here is the map art, also a flashbang. Okay, so this is the part of the video. Uh, where I talk about the future plans that I probably won't uh, fulfill, like always, but yeah, uh, on June 21, this world will complete three years, so my idea is to have that day to be episode 100, and also a three-year world tour, so for that I need to post one video every week, pretty much, so that's the goal, and what we are going to do in all those uh, videos we have coming up is gonna work on these projects that we talked about today. I did a book here to show this. So uh, the priority is finishing Moose's build uh, and the village, which I think we can finish both, but both uh, have quite a few of hours of building left, so it's gonna uh, take a while. And of course, we need to get diamonds to prepare to 1.20. And uh, if I have time, I will build more farms in Octantlis. And there is some other small stuff like fixing the display on the planet's room, stuff like that, that uh, we need to do around the world. Around the world, around the world, around the world, around the world. Okay, that was a really bad Daft Punk impression. So yeah, I guess that's gonna be it for today's episode, and I see you guys in the next episode. Let's finish with a flashbang, bye!